Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara. That felt really weird and awkward. Let's not do that again. Let's... Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara, and today I've got an idea. It's not a new idea, it's an old idea. See, watching you do this has got me thinking about the Patreon thing. About doing it like um, a tragic tombola ticket, essentially. The tragic tombola, I think. Tragic tombola tickets. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called the tragic tombola. Basically, Right, there's a, as with everything in life, there's a story behind this, right? So, I've been trying to think of a way to make money through what I do, but in a different way. Like, I quite like the idea of Patreon, but at the same time, I don't quite like the idea of Patreon because, like, I don't want to be tied into something. Like, see how, like, a lot of people will do things like, um, they'll put up tutorials and different things like that. Like, I, I know I'll do that for a bit and then I'll get, I, I won't do it and then people won't pay me and then everyone, but no one will have a good time, essentially. <laughs> so, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sell art, well, I'm going to raffle off art through the tragic tombola and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ticket and then you can buy a ticket and then it goes into a tombola and then we pick a winner and you win the bit of art so it'll be like things that I've made and stuff but I quite like the idea of it because because there's this horrible thing in art because I have had people emailing me and saying oh you're selling your stuff too cheap and you're doing this and you're doing that but I think with stuff like that man you just I don't feel comfortable turning around and saying that one of my paintings is £500 do you know what I mean? Or, do, you know, do, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just yeah. wanting that kind of thing and then who can afford £500 for a painting? Yeah. and who would buy who would buy a £500 painting off a guy who produced it in this? do you know what I mean? like this is my garage like, it's not like a big fancy studio or nothing like that. So I quite like the idea of like, if you're a millionaire, the ticket's three pound, and if you're not a millionaire, like everybody else in the world, it's three pound. So you just, it's chaos. You stand the same chance as everybody else are winning, like getting something. Like if you really like something, you're priced out of the game, because art's expensive. Well, some of it's expensive. There's things that I would love to own that I can't own. Like I can't have on my wall because I can't afford it. Like straight up serious, right? So, but the other reason is this, I am, terrible at keeping things that I, I know I know right but I'm but listen hear me out what I mean is like so I had an exhibition five years ago something called the thief and I put all these different things up and stuff now as far as I'm aware this this here is the only thing that exists from it like um, unless you bought something unless you bought something this is the only thing that exists and I never sold everything it lay in my garage and it got trampled on and it just got binned because I don't look after things like I'm terrible for it right so I could spend loads of time making all this stuff and then I won't keep it right I'd much rather make it get it out <laughs> make something else and this tombola thing suits me really well because I don't want to be sitting with it. it's not that I don't want to ever do an exhibition again there's a bit of me that thinks that kind of pointless not pointless like there's a bit of me that thinks an exhibition like i'd just rather people turned up and we talked rather than like have stuff up in the wall and discuss it like i'd much rather like this is my exhibition like you know what i mean putting up my posting my things is an exhibition putting painting walls that's an exhibit like i'd rather do that i'd rather be stood in front of a wall and talk than like walked into a place and ate cheese and fancy wine and stuff it's not it's not me it's not me right so that's the only thing that exists it's not that i'm raffling off by the way so this is this see i'm not getting rid of this i'm going to keep it because i like this one and i realized by me keeping it it totally goes against everything that i said about keeping stuff so i'm rubbish at keeping things unless it's old cardboard boxes a fishing rod empty cans of spray paint two boxes <laughs> just in case just in case. I'm going to make a video about how I set this up because like sometimes when I look at things and come up with an idea, to get to the end point it feels really big and long and then I get discouraged. These videos, right, these videos are the things that motivate me to do the other thing. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. I know if I film this, the next bit will happen and the next bit will happen and the next bit will happen and that's why I do it. So, it's the MF Doom. I'm getting rid of the MF Doom. MF Doom is sat there this whole time. I know it'll just sit there forever till a point where I get annoyed at it and I either just give it to someone or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm, that's the first thing I'm gonna raffle off. In my last video slash rant, I spoke about my newsletter and how that's gonna be my direct point of contact with people. Still gonna use social media and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna start using my, uh, my newsletter because I've got a why 
now for using it. I'm going to draft up a newsletter, I'm going to draft up a social media post. In fact, that's not true. The first thing I'm at is not the newsletter, right? See what I mean, right? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a ticket and upload onto my website so that you can buy it, right? There's no point in me drafting all that social media stuff and you get nowhere to go, right? So that would be the first thing I do. I made like a quick ticket, like it's not. I didn't make it from scratch. I just found a load of free ticket mock-ups online and just kind of moved everything about. I, I probably will change that eventually. So I did change it. I did change the picture. But it'll do now. I might even change it by the end of the week. Like, but it'll do now to get it, get it, get it going. The second thing I'll do is write a bit of the newsletter. There we go. That's my first newsletter written out. So I haven't sent a newsletter for a long time. <laughs> I was quite good at it when I was doing the Tragical, tra tra uh, the Tragical Hara show. My name's Tragical Hara and we are live on the internet, <clears throat> which is huge apparently. With that live stream I was doing, I was getting quite good at it, but it felt like I was just saying the same stuff over and over again, so I'm going to send it now. So on Instagram what I'm going to do is, like, I'll post the Tragical, the Tragic Tombola ticket, and I'll put in the description swipe to see what the prize is this time. So it's not just posting up the MF Doom thing, because then they've seen that, so it's like, oh, that's something different. So that's my strategy for that. I'm just going to send that, I'm going to read it again and make sure I've spelt things right. I'm probably going to get people unsubscribing from it, but I've tried to make it, I tried to put a button in the top to say, look, if you're getting this and you don't want it, feel free to uns unsubscribe, but you need to kind of go down the bottom to find that. I don't want people like thinking they, I'd rather the people that were getting the stuff were getting it and thinking it was like valuable, not valuable, but they were like into it rather than sending it to people that are only watching it. Because see at the end of the day, like I need to pay us eventually, I've got three of these that I can send. I can send three of these that aren't going to cost me any money, but after that, anything above 500 people I think is more expensive to send it. So the more folk I can clean from it, like it's quality over quantity and that's the way I see it. Like I don't want to just draw, have hundreds of people on it that don't, aren't interested in it because then well, that's going to cost me extra money that I'd rather not spend right now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if I'm honest with you. That's it, I'm just going to send it. Read it and send it. That's the best thing. Read and send. Right, so that's it. The the newsletter's sent and I, I've sold one. I can't <laughs> I can believe it. I've sold one. Like, I literally, like, hold on. I sent it at eight minutes past four and I'd sold one by... I've sold two! <laughs> sold two! <laughs> So I have sold two? No way man! Sweet! This might actually work. I sold one, I sold one at half past four and I sold one at 34, 31. That's mental! Right, so, that's quite, I'm buzzing out my nut for that, that's amazing! Six pound. Booooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
help drive traffic to my website, you know, because I'm big into marketing, right? So I sat down and this is what I've wrote so far. I think in total, I've had three exhibitions my entire life. The first one was at the Harbour Arts Centre and I shared the room with Gordon Cowan and Sally Wilkes. I sold everything and it paid for the bathroom in my house. Well, I say it paid for it. It paid for the tiles so I could do a really subpar DIY job that later had to be ripped out and redone. In fact, one time we came back home, <sighs> we'd only been in the house for... <laughs> We'd only been in the house for about a year at this point. We had water leaking into our hall from upstairs. Turns out after many insurance company phone calls and people coming out to check the garage slash studio space, it was a washer or something from the cold bath tap. I never touched the taps. <laughs> I never touched the taps when tiling the bathroom. So I know it wasn't me, but the insurance company sent out a big man. I only call him a big man because I still feel like a child now and he was obviously a skilled tradesman who had experienced life and didn't spend his teenage years writing songs in his bedroom about the mean folk at school Well, the big man took one <laughs> Sorry well, The big man took one look at the bathroom and proceeded to tear my tile job to ribbons calling whoever put the tiles in a useless so-and-so that should leave the job to professionals I agreed <laughs> and could have won an Oscar for the slating of the people who lived in the house before us who must have put those tiles in. <laughs> anyway, the big man sorted the leaky tap quick as a flash and made his way downstairs to let my wife know that the leak was sorted and the tile job upstairs was horrific, to which my wife turned round, pointed at me and said it was him that put the tiles in. <laughs> I'm supposed to be trying to sell tickets to this thing and I've literally just wrote an entire paragraph with nothing to do with it, but absolutely nothing. I don't know why that's making me laugh so much, but that's the truth that happened. <laughs> that genuinely happened. She just dobbed me right in. I quite like writing these things now because they're not about... I used to have a thing years ago where I was trying to sell like, pop culture t-shirts and stuff. It was called Pop Nonsense. I think I'll share those videos one day because they're pretty funny to be fair. Well, I think they're funny. Like I'd write these things where it was like um, 10 things you didn't know about Jaws, for example. And I would write, the first bit would just be me saying how much I like Jaws. And it and that was the best fun, I loved that. I would just write about how much I love Jaws and then I'd need to write 10 things that um, like you might not know about Jaws. And that bored me. I just liked writing about Jaws. So I don't, I don't know if anybody's reading these, right? I've only done one to be fair, but like I quite, <laughs> I just think it's, I just get to ramble and I like rambling. So this is, this is how I think I'm going to sell these tickets is by writing utter nonsense like this. So if you want to read the rest of it, there'll be a link in the description. That's what I was going to say to my website. Alright. Third thing I'll do is do some sort of thing to promote it on social media. Like I'll need to come up with like, I quite like making these reels now. In fact, that's, that's the reel. That's how I do the reel. Making a thing where I'm going, the reason I'm getting rid of the art, the why. The why I'm getting rid of the art is because I'm really bad at keeping things, unless it's boxes of spray paint, old speakers, just the, the rubbish that I keep that I think eventually I'll use. <coughs> That's how I make the room. There we go. I, I kind of get it. So I'll make some of them and, and set a date and then see how, see how it goes. But if this works, I'm just going to keep doing this. Like, I think that's what I'll do. Like, it's tomorrow. I've sold 23 tickets. I know I don't look it, right? But I'm totally buzzing. I'm kind of, and not in shock, like, not in shock, but I didn't think it would, I didn't think it would work. <laughs> My experience of selling tickets is gigs, is trying to sell tickets to gigs that I was playing. And trying to sell tickets for gigs is, a, it's a shift. So I think this is my model. I think I've found it, right? I was thinking about it on the way down to heat to the studio today, to the workshop. I don't really know what to call this place, but on the way down to the workshop today. When I'm talking about the why, like I get a lot out of this. From just doing this idea, right? I've got the, the MF Doom video. I get a portrait out of it. I get like the actual piece of artwork. I get a newsletter out of it. I got a blog out of it, stuff to share on my social feeds. When you think about it, that's what I've got. I've also got, because I'm sending people to my website to buy this, I'm getting traffic to my site. I mean, I've done digital marketing for two years at a company, and these are things that I told, like I was reading in blogs, and I was telling other people you should do, but I never really had a reason why I should do it. And every time I did try and do it, it felt just kind of, I wasn't into it, so it didn't 
work because I wasn't enjoying it and you could probably tell when I was doing that the business model not the business model that, there was no business model that's what the problem is I've got a business model now it's on my wall but yeah I can see I can see this working like I can see how if it takes me two days to make a video I know what my day rate is like I know how much I charge a day for other things that I do because I'm still working jobs while I'm doing this like I'm still like it, uh, albeit they're still in the realm of what I do right but like I'm still like working for other people like editing their videos and like making things for other people and stuff like that which I'm cool with like I, I, I enjoy it but I, if I'm completely honest I'd much rather be doing 100% wildest chasing like I'd much rather be doing that but it's getting there it's getting there it feels like a uh, panning for gold that's what it feels like it feels like there was all these ideas and all these things that I had to do or needed to do or wanted to do and, and I'm panning and panning and panning and eventually it's refining down to a couple of manageable lumps <laughs> like there's no gold yet right but it's getting smaller and I can see the lumps it's probably the worst analogy ever but that's the way it, the way it feels right so the next right so this next bit that's coming up this is the not my business but it's my thoughts of the the business kind of thing so see if you're not interested in that sort of stuff this is the end of the video like don't watch the rest of it because you're not it's not like if you're not into that sort of the sort of thing don't waste your time like that's it the next video will be i don't know what the next video will be but it will be about like the last two have been a bit kind of businessy type of thing right but that's where i'm at right now like if you uh try to start your own thing or you've already got your own thing or something like that like it might be interesting, it might be helpful. This is how I'm going to run this and how I think I'll build it and how I'll replicate the thing and all that sort of stuff. So if not, if you're not into it, like, don't watch it. I can't be any fairer than that. <laughs> like... for, for me to make this, for me to replicate the next time, basically what I need to do is I need to have my, my idea, a piece of artwork. I don't really know what I need to do. I should probably just write this in my playbook, if I'm honest. I cleaned all that board for nothing. Right. This is my playbook where I write all my ideas. I've never really had, I've always had a, a book where I write everything in like lyrics and stuff, but this is like specifically ideas. Um, and I call it my playbook because uh, of the water boy. Someone stole Henry, Win Henry Winkles, is that his name? Fonzie. Someone stole his playbook and I don't know, I love that film. So I just call it my playbook because I think it's funny. The way I see it is this. That there was the original Tragic Tombola thing. That was my, my original thing that I wrote out. At the start, I have an idea. And the idea then leads on to a video, which will sometimes be artwork, sometimes it's not. Now if it is art, that makes a, almost like a wee kind of package. That all kind of comes in a nicely wrapped up box. From here, I've got my the Tragic Tombola, which means I can get use the video as promo for the artwork which I can then generate money with, right, selling tickets, right? But that whole Tragic and Tombola thing produced a lot of different stuff. It produced a, a newsletter, a blog, social stuff, right? It's gave me a reason to make all these things, right? So, how the, f right, where am I going with this? Right, so, that creates that. So basically what this does is it drives all this stuff, right? Especially these things, right? It's gonna drive traffic to my website, right? Which I can potentially change into money because people buy tickets, right? If they want to, they don't need to. They can still take, they can still read all this stuff, right? But the social stuff, if I can then drive them to my website, potentially I could drive the social stuff to my newsletter with the, with the, the thing of like, if you like what I do, which I spoke about before, if you like what I do and you really want to definitely know that you'll see it, you can either sign up to the newsletter or you can subscribe to, to my YouTube. And that's the best, they're the best two ways to find it out, right? Everything else is all maybe. If you're online at the right time, have already engaged with something in the last week, all that sort of stuff, all these things that affect whether or not you see it, that comes from there. I think this is where I'm going with this. But this bit here, like, give me two minutes, right? Give me two minutes, I'm gonna actually write something coherent. I'll need this. So this is the things I need to do every time. Right? Every time that I do this, this is what I need to do, right? So the video and the artwork will just happen, right? That's just going to happen. This isn't going to be something I'm going to say, oh, I need to do every month, I need to do this every month. It's just going to happen when it happens, okay, right? So the tragic from Boa, the first thing I need to do is make a ticket, put it on my, on my website for people to buy. Then I need to post a newsletter with all this stuff in it, right? Now, there's going to be other things in that newsletter, but this gives me more of a reason why to do this newsletter, because I will, if I don't have a why, I'll not do it, right? 
That then's going to lead on to the social stuff. And that wee Instagram thing I done where you kind of swipe, the swipe left thing, that works. So that'll be one, of, that'll be like the first thing I do. And I'll change the look of the ticket every time, I think. Um, I'll get some other bits of things that I can post on my social stuff, right? Because of this, because I've, it, it's happened, right? So I can use the video to promote this. I can use the pictures of the artwork to promote this. I can use the newsletter to promote this. And I can use any other daft things that appear here to promote this, right? The optional thing is the blog. If I quite enjoyed writing the blog and I'm going to keep doing them if I keep enjoying them. If I don't enjoy them, I'm not doing it, right? Because I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. And that whole promo thing kind of fits in here, right? That whole thing there can happen in one day. That bit's going to take a lot more time, depending on what it is I'm making, right? And all that promo stuff is going to appear in here. This bit's the bit I think is going to be the... I think it's going to be really cool. So the live draw on Instagram it doesn't need to be an Instagram, but the live draw on Instagram, I'm going to get a guest, which I've kind of I think I've already spoke about, and I'll get them to come in and talk afterwards, just so that like there's another reason to kind of tune in. Like not a big like podcast. It's not going to be like Joe Rogan, but it'll be like people that are that are that I get on with and people that I think are interested in this stuff. Like it's not always going to be art. Like there's a few people that work in the third sector, and there's some other people that do like, a lot of charity work and different things that I think is really interesting that would be good to talk to because they've got good ideas and good kind of stuff and then the very last thing that I need to make sure I do is send it <laughs> right so it can't the MF Doom can't sit in here for any length of time I need to send it and then it's a case of lather rinse repeat and that's it so that's the business model behind the tragic tombola that there is the the, the actual inner workings of it that, that's all I need I don't need to write things out really like paragraphing stuff that makes total sense to me and I'm not going to forget it right and it's in my playbook so that's it now you're not going to see the live draw here and you're not going to see the guest bit and all that sort of stuff because like I can use this video that I've just made here as a way to promote this bit right if I do it afterwards then it might I think I'll lose a bit of momentum so I'm just going to make this video and I'm going to put it out right so if you're watching this hopefully it's before this right so if you want to see the live draw you can go to my Instagram at Mr Tragic O'Hara that's where I'll be doing it Monday the 1st of March at 8pm yeah that's when I'm doing it uh, if you want to be as I've said if you want to know all this stuff straight away and definitely see it sign up to the newsletter and hit the subscribe button and hit notifications and stuff but the newsletter is where everything's going to like you're going to see that 100% as long as you open your emails like that's it like that's the best chance you've got of seeing the stuff um, and I'm going to use my social to try and get people People to go the, the people that really like what I see it they can go to my newsletter that's that's the that's that there that's just that we plan so that, that's it I think that's us so there you go that's the that's the tragic to bowler hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, next time don't know